Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about two or like three and a half props that pretty much have and don't have the same movement. It is kind of cool. It, uh, in fact, it's, as you can see from this picture, you could guess the animatronic already. So this is going to be like a discussion of these three props. It won't be, like, bad or something. It, it's just my opinions and overall thoughts. Um, so, yeah, as you can see right here, we do have Demonic Dollar, which, hold on, let her head rise up quickly. So, in the meantime, yeah, this is Demonic Dollar, yeah, the 2019 animatronic. She is really, really awesome not gonna lie she's absolutely incredible and speaking of fact i love her i want i wanted to get her but my parents didn't want her and despite the fact that she only had one phrase it still was nothing i mean it's still an amazing prop like look at that face dude a lot of people got scared by that and I mean a lot. That would have been a good jump scare. Despite the fact that we had five inches of snow. So yeah. Uh, besides the Monarch Dow, we're going to be talking about the Widow and Jack Straw. So I'm sorry I can't show their pictures. Uh, but you'll probably know what they are. Because you guys are very awesome people out there. Who know and who know Halloween. So I wouldn't be like too surprised. If you know what I'm, who I'm talking about. So we got Demonic Dahlia here. She, of course, she was first um, uh, discovered after, I th I don't really know. It's either links or emails. I could be wrong. But Demonic Dahlia is our first prop of the day. And she looks incredible. S because of this email right here, it kind of looks like that um, Bloodthirsty Betty is Demonic's, or should I say Dahlia's sister. Uh, it would make sense because they both got emailed on the same time. But I, but according to the description, it's not really like, uh, like they're not really similar at all. You know what, I, you know what I'm talking about? It just doesn't make any sense to, like, other people out there. But, I mean, it does make sense to me because they were both emailed at the same time. And I'm not sure if their backgrounds are the same, like, they're both setting, like, their filming location. Uh, it's pretty much... I don't really think so. They both appear in the, um... What should I call it? The uh, uh, Reaper's Wharf. So that's cool. It that's another th thing. She Bloodthirsty Betty did not return, but Demonic Dahlia did for twenty twenty and half of twenty twenty one. But in, I think that he, Demonic Dahlia got very popular because I was planning on getting her. At the end of the year, and then someone just bought her right off the li right off, like, in a split second. So that's kind of unfortunate. So her box is pretty amazing. I don't know too much to say about this box. It's just like the same like any other twenty nineteen or twenty twenty prop. You know what I'm saying? Like. They used to have those other backgrounds. I probably discussed this in my video or something. But this is... I don't know. This is really something. This is a cool prop. Her back view is incredible. 
uh, you could even see that she looks absolutely amazing. Not to mention her big butt. <laughs> but we... So, she does, like... If you want to get her, uh, her theme is, like, a... Asylum. But as for this guy, Jack Straw... Uh, I don't know really how I... I love Jack Straw. I actually saw him at Brick Thunder's display. He bought Demonic Dahlia and Jack Straw. So, that's pretty cool. Um... He is absolutely incredible, and I love him so much. I wanted to get him, but I couldn't because my parents thought it was just dumb. But, I mean, come on. These guys are jump scares for crying out loud. And Demonic Dahlia appeared on the Reaper's Wharf and the Reaper's Island. And as for Jack Straw, he also appeared... Well, first of all, let's speak about this. What is this? What in the world is this? What do you call this? I mean, sure, this is post-production. But FYI, it looks like he just got uh, a bad day from school or something. I don't know. So his animation is basically the same. Uh, so there's really not much to talk about. Is Demonic, he has the same animation as Demonic Die. He appeared in the SS Riptide and the Reaper's Island after he got shipped there. By the SS Riptide, of course, with the Collector, although he didn't appear then, but a lot of other animatronics, too. So as you can see by my proof of Jack Straw's wiki, in case you were kind of like, why do those props have the same um, activation? Pe well, because this animatronic features the same animation as Demonic Dolly animatronic. But with moving arms. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So Jack Straw does that. I didn't even realize that. Because both of these props are absolutely incredible. And I think it would be pretty much best if Demonic Dyer moved your hand. Since I just didn't know that now. And all. So that's pretty cool. His box is the same. Not, it's pretty. A lot of people want those boxes back. I might keep on saying that. But his email is incredible. That looks so detailed. Like, look at those Photoshop eyes. Unless those are real. I'm not sure. His instructions are pretty much pretty um, cool. At least they're not black and white like they do with, like, other uh, sets or things. Same with Demonic Dahlia, pretty much. She has the same instructions. I bet that was just copied and pasted and all. So, yeah. Demonic Dahlia is a good animatronic. So is Jack Straw. Both of them are really good for your display. I'm definitely planning on getting one before... Because uh, I need to save up. Because I'm planning on getting a Poison Props animatronic for next year. And one Spirit Halloween animatronic. Maybe with some leftover money, I might buy, like, props and, like, you know. You know what I mean? So, lastly, we have the Widow. The Widow is an animatronic from this year who uh, got teased in the official, or, like, not the official, the official, well, yeah, kind of. The official grand opening of Spirit Halloween. Her measurements are so worth it. Like, for $200, that's nothing. It's about the size of a man. Kind of. As soon as her he neck is up. <laughs> so, yeah. We get to see her broken neck and her head up close. I gotta say, that looks painful. I'm not gonna lie. She also appeared in the um, Experiment 131 uh, video, which is pretty much cool. Um, a lot of people liked her. They wanted to get her right away. She was coming soon. And now pretty much all the animatronics are on the website right now. That's absolutely amazing. She's an online only though. Which is... Meh. I would kind of agree. Because I don't really know. But I would love, 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 love to purchase her. I know I'm like, I want to buy it and everything. but Because I just love Halloween. And I want to make a bunch of people happy in our display. And I also want to make myself happy. So... That's 
I don't know. The widow has a ginormous butt, that's for sure. I mean, look at that butt. <laughs> but other than that, she um like is basically a pretty cool animatronic overall. A real pain in the neck. That was a creative email. Her set uh I don't know. Yeah, I guess I would say set is absolutely outstanding. So, it just shows that Spirit Halloween improves. And I don't care. I mean, I do. But this is just ridiculous about people not liking this uh, year. They are really... I bet you they're making, like, professional animatronics in 2023. This is just, like, a little distraction, I bet. Although this year is pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm liking it. So, we got the Widow's Box here. Doesn't look that bad. It's basically like the same as any 2020 or 2021 box. But, of course, this was made in 2022, this specific prop. So, that's pretty cool. And, see, you can even tell because of the pictures on the side. Like, that doesn't usually show at all on um, the 2021 pictures, sadly. Or, no, I didn't mean the 2020, sorry. Uh, no, wait, I didn't mean 2021, sorry, uh, 2020. Um, so, her, n so we got an up-close picture of her neck, and she's absolutely an outstanding prop. So, yeah, that was all three animatronics from this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Tell me what your thoughts are. I know this was short. I just, they're just, like, so similar, except the Widow. And I wanted to throw in a few jokes in there. Like, sure, like, very funny jokes. So I didn't mean any of that butt stuff to hurt any, uh, to, like, um, make, I don't know. So all these animatronics are super good. Um, they're just so amazing, and I, and I definitely recommend you to purchase all of them. Plus, I bet The Widow is an absolutely huge hit, because guess what? She sold out already. Can you believe that? She sold out. That is just insane. You can definitely tell that The Widow is, like, the top of the game right now and online only. And I'm not sure about how I feel about Deadly Creeper or Straw Man. They're both pretty cool. But yeah, let's just cut out to the outro. So guys, those are my overall thoughts on the video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll keep on posting daily. So you'll see my videos every single day. And let me tell you, it's a lot of work. But this is what I love, you know? So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.